caster. And then... Yeah, I'm just like... Once again, I still have the... had the super squeaky chair. I'm sorry, guys. It's a different chair, though. It's a rolly chair this time. But it's still all squeaky and stuff. So, Jedi Zealot, have you noticed that there's been, like, a lot more Terran players on ladder recently? Like, almost 50% of my games have been TVT or ZVT. It's really crazy. Like, there are so many Terrans on the ladder. I'm not entirely sure why. And these Marines. Whew. That is quite unfortunate. Will we actually get the... Will we be able to finish this? Will he be able to finish it? Ah, he gets the wrapping paper off. Okay, good. Sweet, so Hellions are on the way. He does get the lift off. Well, of course he does. He has the, he has the good spawning position to where he can um, safely have the reactor uh, as the wall. That's good. Uh, this is SCV. The Jukes. Wow. Such jukes. Anyways. Looks like both players doing very similar builds. You switched to Jedi Zealot. Why is everyone switching to Terran? Maybe I need to full switch to Zerg now so I can keep things 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 keep things uh I don't know. So I can help balance balance things out. Well, I did hit GM on Zerg, so that's I could do it, but I don't know, I just like Terran Mech so much. It's so fun playing chess. I am a chess player. I really enjoy chess. I find Mech to be quite chessy. I don't think there's any really Zerg style that's really like that. As far as I've as I've seen. Well, not not as of late. Of course there's like the Heart of the Swarm era of the, the Swarm Host Gods. But, uh, those days are over. And that wasn't really chess, that was just... dumb. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's the, that's the reason I switched to... I switched to Zerg for a while. Uh, but, yeah. I ended up only just abusing Ling Hydra. I kind of felt bad after a while, but yeah. Started off with pure intentions, similar to you. This is a lot of Hellbats, man. And the que queens are mi being microed actually quite well, as well as can be expected. It looks like Hope when he did actually split up his uh, Hellbats there. He may actually lose his push. He does get quite a bit of damage done. Any drones, but yeah. Oh, uh, and splits! My Terran heart. No, and the, even the Liberator instantly pulls up that forward crawler. Very, very wise. Oh, he gets it. We save it! Oh, okay. Nine hit points on that Liberator. He even got, he got a, got a queen for his trouble. Sweet. So, yeah. The, quite a good push there from from Poke Bunny. Um, Winter is going to come in for the counter attack, and he doesn't have too much to defend. He's Poke Bunny is bringing out his inner Protoss. This Marine is holding the line, and he's not anymore. Is this okay? I, I wasn't even looking at the mini map. Looks like they're going back around. So, yeah. Yeah. Once again, I'm letting my uh, my caster bias come on in because. Winter has no idea of what is going on on Poke on on the map. If he was good, he should know. Kappa. He doesn't have that star sense. <laughs> Anyways. Fourth and fifth barracks are coming out of Poke Bunny. Double Wood of Mine production. Plus one, plus one for Poke Bunny. And medivacs. Also, combat shields. On the other side of the map, 
We have a plus one melee, plus one armor, and a layer almost done. I'm the most boring caster ever, aren't I? Wow, feels bad, man. <laughs> Anyways, fourth base this is about to start up. Uh, nothing will be there contesting it. So yeah. I'm not entirely sure if this is the best uh, location. Uh, maybe it is the best location for Zerts. I tend to prefer this location as a Terran player. Maybe that's because I'm a mech player and I have that uh, that uh, siege range, which gives me a bit of a ability to, to uh, combat that high ground disadvantage. But, uh, I don't know. Because of course the uh, the way to kill is Zerg, from what I've been told, is to uh, blow apart. You know, I guess that's why. Because if you were to have a fourth base at that location, you'd have to have an army down here to potentially to uh, guard against anything coming from the south as well as the north, and have an appropriate amount for each. Which is quite difficult. And this is quite far away. And a bit difficult to uh, maintain creep, as this is going to be a constant attack pattern for our body. I don't see any reason why he would uh, he would need to attack anywhere else, because this is the point of where he has access to everything that's keeping him alive, the third base and the fourth base. And he could even actually go into the main where there's really not too much. Everything's quite far away. You see Banelings over here. Oh, let's see. We'll actually start up a wall. Oh, uh, let's see. Ooh. Wait, ASCV? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't looking in the right place. That wasn't any ASCVs. Quite a few ASCVs go down in the main base. So, I. Uh, Nine go down in the main and two at the third, so. Bit of a blunder. Oh well. Bug Bunny owns these static mines. I believe Poke Bunny may just be lacking in his multitasking. Because he seems to not be paying attention to this army right here. Uh, all these uh, subtle slownesses. Or, I don't even know how to say it. He's just a little bit slow on uh, on making his moves. And it's putting just a little bit far behind. Obviously, it's not, a, not too big of a deal as he is winning. But it is, is something that uh, I'd like to note. Poke Bunny is uh, going towards that, uh, that little push area. And this is actually quite a bit of Zerk here. He does have Lingbane Hydra. Quite a bit of bands on the way. I do feel like he needs more lings for that wraparound. As this style does depend on having the lings to uh, zone the terror. As yeah, because those bands just get picked off so quickly. Ooh, and a very juicy hit on those Hydras. Ooh, this is very dangerous here. Winter just not getting the big hits he needs. There we go. Did I just... I was just completely missing. Oh, that was my mistake. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a horrible Mineral person. Field <laughs> Looks like he lost all his SCVs paying attention to that attack. Yeah, I guess that's what happens. Ready for dust off. GG. Uh, Catalina. Yeah, just a Catalina. That is it. The uppers indeed. I hope you guys are enjoying this stream. I definitely am. 
I don't stream very often anymore, unfortunately. Uh, the last time I tried to stream, OBS just like decided to die on me, which was quite unfortunate. Both players are ready. We'll be starting. Not a, well, perhaps our final game. Actually, no. I think it's even now. Is it three three? Do we have Mac Max upgrades? Is the score? I don't know. You know what I was trying to do there, but the delivery was horrible. <laughs> so yeah, we're up three and three. Leave it as three three. Uh, I'm gonna pop my neck here for a second. Oh, there we go. So spawning in at the nine o'clock position, or eight nine o'clock. Yeah, closer well, to nine o'clock. We have from Team Slothy Sports, Pug Bunny, a purple Terran player. Three three and a best of nine. Oh yeah. Oh, so we have at least two games left. At max three games left. So yeah. Oh yeah, let's continue these, these introductions. Sorry about that. So in the five o'clock position, but uh, yeah, something like that, four or five o'clock, we have Teamless Winter. That's red sir. Going for Hatch Gas Pool. Or at least I assume Hatch Gas Pool. If he doesn't build a spawning pool here, I would be uh, very, con very concerned. But yes, he does. Here we go. Once again, not going for a drone scout. It's not too big of an issue as uh, marine marine pushes are not as big of a concern, I guess. Uh, you could all he could always just make it in the center. That always works. But uh, yeah, not 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 as common. Why is there an octopus in the center anyway? I don't know. Wait. That's a septopus. What the heck? What the heck? Those don't exist. Where does other tentacle go? It's a septopus. I guess the eighth is his head, but no, that doesn't count. It's a septopus. I don't understand. Anyways. Super standard. Again, little players. These guys are just uh, doing the same builds. Not too interested on in doing anything crazy. We don't have any uh, SOSs in here, I guess. Trying to shake things up. Uh, once again, Winter going to uh, skirting around the uh, the Reaper, but uh, he will not be able to can't to uh, delay the content this time as they are a bit late, later than usual. There, I thought he might actually get a drone. Then I would be super impressed. Metabolic boost or metabolic boost is almost done. Here we go. He's going once again for that two base muta, or at least I assume once again two base muta. Who knows with players these days? Reaper coming in again. See in order he can find. He may actually find that uh. That two, that uh, that layer. Wait, did he actually see that layer? I'm not, not entirely sure. I just saw it. He did. Add on complete. I think he may actually be able to inference that based on what he sees. He does see the uh, second extractor, which is kind of a hint. So yeah, I believe that's why he has not uh, sacked his reaper. First thing I thought he lost a lost a hellion, but there he is. He just uh, off doing his own thing for some reason. Sleeping on the job. Two more Hellions on the way to join them in a Raven. Very common choice among among most players against Zerg players. 
but not one we've seen from Poke Bunny so far in this show match. Um, I've definitely heard from from Zergs that they don't mind playing against Ravens, as uh, they can just remake drones as fast as the or faster than the Ravens can kill them. So I'm not quite sure. Sure there. Uh, this will get deflected, 100%. We'll get nothing done. Um, if nothing else, then he could just have... Just, could just add it to these Hellions. Give him a, an easier route to push from. But no, it looks like he's just gonna... Why is he going so far? Oh, and he's not paying attention to his Hellions. He's just he knows that three Hellions. And, oh... Look at all his Hellions there. Ooh, that is not good there from Bookbuddy. He is gonna be forced back. And it looks like Winter does spot those little mines and they will go down. There we go. Probably would have been better if he just used used a Ling instead of a drone, as Lings are definitely less valuable than, than drones. As a Zerg player, every drone counts. We have those second gases coming up out of Poke Bunny. Poke Bunny is showing a. Well, he only has one um, engineering bay this time. Um, perhaps that is simply because of his choice to go for a Raven. Uh, I don't believe it really paid off going for a Raven rather than like a Banshee or something like that. Uh, Banshee, of course, wouldn't have gotten too much done since he had such an early layer. Oh, and once again, he has, has his uh, stuff open. So he will miss some. Some wings coming into his main. So he does get those, uh, those banelings, but this is why he uses to give the Marines. I believe he does have enough Marines to push, push his back for now. Five units versus five Marines. Five Marines and Metamax definitely wins. Does get these, uh... And that Raven's dangerously low. He definitely needs to repair that Raven if he wants it to survive. To help in future fights. Armory on the way here for Poke Bunny. Uh, no. Second Armory in sight. So it looks like he's really not too interested in getting plus one armor. I guess. Or maybe he, maybe this was a mistake. I don't know. But there's a lot of mutas, and uh, he still only has two medevacs here. Um, I would like to see a few more missile turrets go down. Just one or two. Maybe one more in the natural, one more in the main. Maybe even two more in the main. Because uh, Winter's muta control has proven to be quite alright, so that's definitely something to expect. Uh, we could probably take out those marines right there. I think he was a bit too uh, a bit too scared of those, as he only has four. That raven is fully repaired. Looks like he listened to me. Thank you, Poke Bunny. And once again, he's gonna take out that reactor. And it uh, looks like my game has bugged. It looks like Pokemon is building a purple thing. Awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure why that happens. If you don't tell me why, that'd be great. I'm not sure what those lings are doing. But uh, these mutas are going to run away. And they're going to bait a burrow here from Pokemon. -y. And Winter really hasn't lost too much. Uh, his mutalists are all regenerating. Quite quickly, he's getting to a pretty good size. He's definitely going to need to be, uh, be more cautious of these little mines. And there's, there's a really good little mine hit on these, but that's a little disaster. Fourth base has been completed. Winter is definitely powering up, so that's great. That's great for him. And he has a worker advantage against Poke Bunny. Uh, 
loses one needleist. <laughs> I mean, looks like he has lost exactly in favor of Winter. Probably move that. Oh, oh, getting a little bit greedy there, maybe. Okay, doesn't lose any. That's good. And the production tab looks like Poke Bunny is uh, catching up on his uh, upgrades. And he gets two medivacs. Three. Yeah, it looks like uh, Poke Bunny just not making it happen, fortunately. I think just a few more missile turrets would have done the trick. But, uh, yeah, just couldn't get him up, I guess. Yeah. Uh. Interlude. All right, Poke Bunny. I'm just over here chilling, casting, watching some games. <laughs> and these guys are playing their hearts out. Let's go, winner. Winter. You're not a winner yet. That is still all yet to be seen. Weather here is a winter. Race check. Here we go. Ready? Go, go, go! It is time for our second map, or second match of, of um, Thunder Loper. Very good, uh, good map for Terran players. I said this last time, I'll say it again. Because I think, uh, I definitely like it as a Terran player, but I, um, uh, don't like it as a Zerg player, of course. Or even a Protoss player, for that matter. It's not as bad for Protoss, but definitely not favorable. Winner gets 50 bucks. That's cool. I didn't know that. What tournament was this? Uh, was this a... Uh, to get in the show match, was there a tournament? I'm um, not entirely aware. Please, let me know. I might actually compete in it. I could probably actually get pretty far. Because I haven't played in quite a, any tournaments in quite a while. Oh, anyways, I got those, uh, those introductions. You guys like your introductions, yeah? <laughs> in the bottom right, as Purple Terran, we have Sloth Esports, Bug Bunny. I don't, know, I don't even know what I'm doing with all with all the, I'm just like all, uh, going all over the place, making you guys all dizzy. In the top left, we have the teamless Zerg player, Winter. And he's the red color. I uh, have to get all these details in, you know? Once again, he's going to be going for a cool hatch gas. What is the benefit of this? I never see the benefit of getting those early lings, other than, I guess, to try and deny that, that natural, but it doesn't always work, so... I don't know. That's really the only thing that, that comes to mind. No gas yet, actually. This is going to be a gasless opener here from winter. Gas actually just now goes down. Maybe it's a, a bit late. I don't know. Oh, and once again, I forgot it. So yeah, it's not something I can just join up. I'd have to prove myself or something. <laughs> Very unfortunate here for uh, Winter. It looks like these slings will get spotted and will be taken out. But yeah, the advent. Oh, oh! Does he get it? Does he get it? Okay, doesn't get it. Very close. <laughs> this SCV is a survivor. He's like falling apart right before our eyes. B 
But yeah, I think in my head that's really the only advantage to, to doing the uh, the hatch pool gas opening. Because you can have those earlier wings. That's a. But he didn't really didn't really pay off. Unfortunate. And. Wow, Winter really likes his two-base muta, man. He's going again for that second, for that uh, for that uh, layer tech. Uh, no g second gas yet, actually. Is Link Speed even? He's even giving Link Speed. I don't. He isn't even get, getting Link Speed. He's skipping Link Speed and going straight for layer. Wow, what a greedy boy. Did you have an Evo Chamber and a Roach Warren? So, oh, I see what he may be doing, actually. He may be actually going for a Roach. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. Because the, the Roach speed. I feel like this is a build uh, built for three bases, but it looks like Winter's going to try to make it work on two base. And uh, Poke Bunny does not is not aware of this yet, of this interesting build going on here for Winter. And uh, yeah, he will be getting that uh, that Roach speed. Yeah, Poke Bunny, uh, not doing too much of Reaper. He's gonna try and get that Grief Tumor, but uh... oh, and he still has. I don't know if he's noticed that uh, Winter has not gotten Link Speed yet, and is does not have plans for getting wing speed. He has a single roach out on the map. Actually, he has two roaches. A few more in production. A few more done. Right about now. And uh, I think he might be attacking soon, but uh, it's about five minutes. And, uh, I don't know if there's enough roaches to defend against the... Uh, <clears throat> against the push. Some three medivacs pretty good. If he gets to get a Widowmine hit on top of it, I don't know, it's pretty dicey. We'll see. I'm definitely uh, in favor of Poke Bunny presently. Uh, oh, and he gets that. Yeah, uh, Winter just uh, getting knocked down here a little bit. There's a few more roaches on the way. Um, Winter has shaved down the roach count a little bit. Medivac. Okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure who ends up ahead. I would definitely believe it's Poke Bunny. Because those roaches are quite expensive. More so than Marines. And uh, he's yet to get a good good number of them yet. Uh, game Burrow. Good choice. Good choice. I like his decision making there. And uh, yeah, he does get that. What am I? So he doesn't get any bruised roaches. Good stuff. So we have burrow movement and burrow on the way. So it looks like he's gonna be trying to do something something fancy here. He may even try to go for a nidus. Um, who knows? Nidus is a play I I like to use as a Zerg player. It's a guilty pleasure. It, it feels so dirty, but but it works quite well against a Terran player. He does have that plus one advantage. Or does, does he? No, he does not actually. My mistake. They were even on upgrades. I'm not entirely sure how long that uh, plus one has been completed for Pug Bunny. I think I may have been a bit too concerned about Winter. Or uh, too focused on Winter. And it looks like Winter will pull back now. He does have a Ravager. Perhaps to uh, try and take care of that tank. Plus two is on the way for Winter, so he will have at least some window of a two, two of a plus two timing against Pokemon. Liberators are on the way. Double Liberator production. Uh, he doesn't quite have the gas production for it, unfortunately, or the gas income, not gas production. Uh, and no third base, once again, for Poke Bunny. Um, similar to the first game where he 
really just stayed up on two bases. Winter. Neither of them really getting getting the uh getting up to max. I don't think we we've seen either of these players get back now. And he's just running away with these roaches. I feel like it would have been better for him to just keep some of his roaches there to fight. And this is my concern here. If uh, he breaks those rocks, then this game could just end very abruptly. Smoke Bunny doing his, his damage. He actually, yeah, he kills everything. I think that might be just GG right there. Army supplies double, worker supplies ahead. Actually, worker supply is ahead for winter. But there, so there's a bunch of drones over here that will turn back to the water. A bunch of roaches up here that need to be canceled. Uh, I need to cancel those roaches. Definitely need to cancel those roaches. He's only the roach to finish. Come on, man. Ah. Quite unfortunate. GG. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> all right, all right. I need to catch my breath. Uh, what? Which one? Ascension to Iron. Great with mod. WCS game art. Looks like the match is evened up. This is going to be our last game today, man. You know what? I'm going to add these guys. These guys are in. I'm going to add these guys. Let's get going. Final game! $50 on the line. I didn't spell final right. But I think they get they count my drift, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, my neck hurts so much. Sorry about that. Oh. I don't know if you heard that that nasty pop. Ooh. Look at you go, Poke Bunny. Let's get those, these introductions out of the way. Bottom right-hand corner, Poke Bunny from Sloth. Top left-hand corner, it is Winter from Teamless. And we immediately have some cheeky stuff. Poke Bunny sending out three SCVs, just like he did on Odyssey. This time, <gasps> oh dear, Winter. Winter! Winter is bringing... Oh, he may miss it! Winter's star senses are tingling, but... Oh, no, he's gonna miss it. Will he miss it? Is he gonna move to the right? <gasps> Winter will not see any of this. He does not see that it... <gasps> No, we will not see it. Oh no, Winter! Winter! And he's not drone scouting either. Oh no. This is a disaster for Winter. This could spell... This is all the end of the series. I think the series may just end abruptly with a... With Poke Bunny just uh, just taking it with a landslide, Winter just not not sending out any scouting scouting drones, <laughs> so he's not gonna see it coming. He sent out an Overlord in that direction, but he didn't send it far enough. He didn't send it far enough to the left. Once again, the Lings are get <laughs> even the Lings won't spot it. What worst case scenario for winter? 
He's already gonna have about about seven, eight marines. About seven, I think. Or he's gonna push out with five. Two more about to pop. And yeah, that. Once again. Oh. Winter knows. He's in trouble. There's nothing here to defend with these drones. Why did you SCVs going down? That is something. He does kill a lot of SCVs. He only has six alive at home. And drones? Only two have gone down. He's not actually killing very many. Oh dear, Poke Bunny. Uh, not gonna bother trying to invest in speed. Uh, oh man, Pope Win Winter is just a few seconds away from being able to power up enough to be able to defend against this because Poke Bunny is at a disadvantage now with his, uh, his lesser worker count. I believe he needs to try and evacuate into the main. Does he have anything? No queens on the one. He has six. All the drones go down. And it looks like Poke Bunny will be taking this series. GG. Congrats. You should use it to buy the war chest. friend and I don't really know uh, winter so yeah so what now I'm not entirely sure am I on the Africa thing no I'm not No one told me of uh, what to do after the fact. I believe that, that the stream is over. Is that correct, Jedi Zealot? Are we done for the day? Or at least for now? Is that all she wrote? Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed either way. If we're done or not. Uh, some pretty good games. Wrote. Alright, yeah.
looks like Jedi's all it's is sealing the deal. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did. Hope you guys learned something too, because uh, these players are being very consistent with their uh, with both their um, their builds and their mistakes and such. So yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys later. Hopefully sometime soon. Have a good one.